Hello and welcome to Agenda 2030. I am Tui Nkamiang John. Good health and well-being are the cardinal parts of the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. As elucidated in Goal 3, the global agenda seeks to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. The SDGs also seeks to end preventable deaths, achieve universal health care coverage, and substantially reduce the number of deaths and illnesses from epidemics, communicable and non-communicable diseases by 2030. On Agenda 2030 this week, we will bring in to you the efforts of the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs to reverse the poor health indices by engaging in massive and comprehensive rehabilitation of some premier hospital across the country. Just stay with us. Agenda 2030. As a successor framework for the Millennium Development Goals, the global community rolled out a bigger, deeper, and more encompassing framework called the Sustainable Development Goals, designed to transform our world, lift the poor out of poverty, as well as ensure inclusive and healthy society. On Agenda 2030, we take you on a media trip to the global destination of the future we want. With everyone on board, we focus on the people and their struggle, the civil society and their agitations, the government and hard development effort, the global development agenda, its 17 goals and 169 targets. We bring you all the deliberations, insightful conversations and high-level partnerships on the road to global destination. Agenda 2030, showing on this channel. Agenda 2030, leaving no one behind. We will bring into you the massive rehabilitation works currently going on at the University College Hospital in Ibadan. Here is the report. Strategically located in the then largest city in West Africa, the University College Hospital, UCH, Ibadan, the first of its kind in Nigeria, was formally commissioned after its completion on the 20th of November 1957 with 500 bed spaces. The UCH was established in response to the need for the training of medical personnel and other healthcare professionals for the country and the West African sub-region. At its inception in 1957, the UCH had just two clinical departments, which include the medicine and surgery. However, the hospital has evolved to accommodate about 65 departments among which is the first department of nuclear medicine in Nigeria. In addition to undergraduate medical programs, the UCH also provides postgraduate residency training in internal medicine, surgery, gynecology, pediatrics, ophthalmology, anesthetics, amongst many others. The hospital was officially commissioned on 20th November 1957, but works started in 1953. So it took the British government approximately four years to put up the structure that you have here. It is very massive. And at a point in the history of the hospital, it ranked number four in the Commonwealth. People from all over the world used to come to UCH for treatment. And at a point also, one of the kings of Saudi Arabia had to come to UCH. He chose to come to UCH for treatment and also Big wigs, eminent Nigerians, eminent people of the world had been treated from here. Sadly, the UCH has suffered years of lack of maintenance, resulting in huge structural dilapidation, as most of its structural components had neither been changed nor repaired since it was built in 1957. Some of the major challenges facing the hospital include an age-long sewage, piping and water problems, resulting in poor hygiene and acute water shortage for effective hospital management. When we came around, we noticed that the, some windows here has broken. Whilst the mechanical aspect of it, and that is the plumbing, is not working well, we noticed that some of the offices are not being used anymore due to the breaking of the pipes, due to the feces coming down from the floors. As you can see, this sludge that we are packing out is used to the main pipe that is conveying the sludge of the hospital that has busted in past years, in which it has it has been a, it has been 
it has it has been a critical it has been a critical point that has stopped the movement of the of the sewage to the to the safety tank it has caused a lot of trouble but now we want to make everything to work we are working on the other ground now we are removing the sludge we are removing the entire pipe and we will replace it with new ones whereby all the all the all the pipes will be covering will be covering easily there will there won't be blockage and the hospital will be enjoying this better as part of government's commitment to providing quality health care to us ensuring the well-being of all nigerians the office of the senior special assistant to the president on sustainable development goals in collaboration with the management of the University College Hospital Ibadan, took up the responsibility to innovate the premier hospital towards enhancing a pleasant experience for staff and patients. The five blocks of the hospital renovated by the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals include the Southeast Wing, the Central Wing, the Southwest Wing, and the west wing. When completed, there will be a total rephrasing of the sewage and piping system of the facility with the aim of addressing the incessant shortage of water supply issues in the hospital. This is the first time that such a project will be carried out at the UCH since it was established in 1957. The renovation also includes the installation of new LED lights and windows in all the blocks. Also, with the installation of 200 solar street lights, the hospital now properly illuminated at night. For those who have known the perennial problem of water shortage at the University College Hospital, whereby doctors will have to use what they call pure water searcher to wash hands at times, patients have to carry kegs of water through many floors before patients are able to have a clean water to drink and for other utilization. This project has made water to flow in many, all the wards that they are handling because they are handling five major blocks. Water is now flowing uh, to a reasonable level in all of them. So the aesthetics of the hospital has been improved because they changed our windows, they painted and um, the floor, the walls, the roof, all of them are now looking new. This has improved our aesthetic appeals because it is interesting that when we travel overseas, these are some of the things we see that attracts us to go there. And of course, I, I, I know I'm correct to say that even a good ambience of the hospital, the, the neatness of the walls and the beauty of the environment also constitutes or has some healing power on its own. And of course, the office of the senior uh, special assistant to the president on SDG, Dr. Adejoke Adefulure also helped us to install solar powered uh, light. This has gone around all the campus and of course uh, it's, a, it's a beauty to behold when you come to UCH at night, even when there's power outage, UCH is never in darkness. It is so beautiful to behold. And these are things that has been the value addition uh, to our institution, the University College Hospital Ibado. I feel so excited and I feel so proud of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, who under the Office of the Sustainable Development Goals has made it possible for Dr. Ade Joke Orelope Ade Fulure to grant us this massive renovation that is going on in the hospital. We really appreciate the President. We also appreciate Dr. Ade Fulure for what she has done for us. We have never had it this good. The renovation job ongoing, pioneered by the SDGs, is something that uh, has turned around the ambience and then the service rendered by the University College Hospital. In a way, it has affected our tripartite functions, that is the research, service, and the training. All the pipes that have rusted for years, they have removed it and then they have replaced it with a new one. Aside that, we have uh, a kind of uh, UCH that is having an uh, update. New windows, 
new things that uh, they have been doing. They have painted, they have done a lot of things. We are eternally grateful to the princess, Dr. Adi Joke Orilepe Adi Lerure. We have never had it this way since 1957 that University College Hospital has been put in place. This is the truth. There is no major renovation like this that has touched every part of the buildings that we have. The originator of this institution they did, they did a great job. Uh, we just learned uh, that uh, the engineers that really built the structure UCH uh, did fantastic job. That is the aging factor. Some of these structures got uh, damaged and, uh, because of age and all these things along the line. So that's to tell you that especially the water reticulation, the sewage line, got blocked and uh, whatever superficial repair you do, you still have issues with uh, the blockage and the flow. So with this current uh, project going on, it's a relief because it's holistic. We are not just doing it at the service. You are going to go to the route. As we are here, there is still underground a walkway that can take home man. and that is why how the sewage line, how the pipes pass through. So if that one is blocked and you do anything up here, then nothing will work. And that has been the experience in the past. You find a situation where some of those pipelines are repaired in what, and yet they still get blocked within a short time. But this current project is unique in the sense that they will take care of that sewage line underground and that means a better job to us. According to the Head of Engineering and Projects Monitoring Committee of the UCH, Engineer Oluchabi Emmanuel Olainka, the project when completed will tremendously facelift the UCH, adding that the intervention will now enable the hospital to be able to provide effective healthcare delivery to patients and staff of the hospital. At the end of this uh, project, this exercise, the renovation, Number one, the UCH will come out in a very, uh, a very new look that is generally aesthetically and uh, engineering-wise, uh, most of all our uh, supply, water supply system and electricity uh, power supply system will be improved. Most of the walls that are in darkness and some switches and that are not working for many years that since the time of the Queen Elizabeth over 60 years ago, we now have, a, we, we, we will be having a modern one that will uh, be of encouragement and be, uh, make our jobs, maintenance work to be easy. And in terms of the impatience that, are, that will be coming, uh, it will afford them a very good opportunity to have a better care because better care, they will have a better bed, better uh, water supply, better electricity, and uh, better equipment that, are, that they will be installed in, the, in each ward and in the laboratory. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, Princess Adejoke Urilokbe Adefulire, in her remarks, reiterated the commitment of government towards providing sustainable social development to Nigerians, especially in the areas of education, eradication of poverty, bridging the gender equality gap, and provision of health care. Princess Adejoke highlighted the efforts of the SDGs towards providing intervention to support the sub-national governments in ensuring deceleration in the achievement of the global goals in Nigeria. At this time, we need more support for us to be able to get our children back in school. It's very critical and very germane to this government and to this administration. So also the health sector must be revitalized. Also to get uh, the uh, general hospital also to be more functional and the teaching hospital also to be more functional and maintained. Right now we are working in UCH Ibadan. And by the, this research about was built 57 years ago and there was no maintenance carried out since the hospital was built. Ditto to uh, Monitala Mohammed Hospital and Yula Specialist Hospital. So we expect that we'll go to Amadou uh, Teaching 
university teaching us which also um, uh, during the course of this year to see how we can do some innovation work also there so in doing that we want to support the subnational government to ensure that people can walk into the hospital get the best of that you can get and reduce um, medical tourism across the world and that you can get value for money even within nigeria next we will take you on a journey to the ancient city of Kano and Yola, where two frontline healthcare facilities are also currently receiving attention from the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs in Comprehensive Rehabilitation. Take a listen. Established in 1926, the Murtala Mohammed Specialist Hospital has over the years grown to assume the status of premier healthcare facility in Kano State. With its status as a specialist and referral center, people come from other neighboring states and even nearby countries to take advantage of its services. However, as a result of old age and lack of maintenance, the hospital was until recently not worthy of the premier status attached to its name. Though the healthcare workers were still trying to do their best for patients, most of the facilities were either working fitfully or had broken down completely. Patients were confronted with unpleasant sides of broken down facilities, ward and consultant rooms with worn out paints and toilets that have become unusable over time. But today, patients and healthcare workers are singing a new song following massive rehabilitation of the facilities and structures in the long-neglected hospital by President Muhammad Buhari through the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, OSAP SDG. The comprehensive rehabilitation work at the hospital, which commenced in 2019, involved rehabilitation of maternity wards and patient sheds, administrative block, x-ray, neuroemergency, medicine department, vote control office, eye clinic, accident ward, mortuary unit, children's surgical ward, pediatric outpatient ward, dental unit, senior staff quarters, anesthetic school, female orthopedic and surgery, A ward female and B ward, and the VVF theater. Also rehabilitated were the VVF Ward, Amenity Ward, VVF Consultant Coordinator, VVF Shared, Female Theatre, Physical Unit and Pharmacy, Synag Emergency, Internary and Clinic, Maternity Block, Dining and Kitchen, VIP Toilet, Septic Tank, Soakaway Pits, Solar Powered Boreholes and the Incinerators, the intervention by SDG's office also covered the rehabilitation of the maintenance unit, CSSD and store, growth monitoring unit, house officers' quarters, junior staff quarters, laundry, sickle cell and pediatric unit, children ward, immunization and emergency pediatric unit. SDG has renovated this facility and had changed the look of it from the way it is before and the way it is now. Currently, the hospital looks excellent. And when you now look at it, even in terms of patient perspective and the community, they have appreciated that the hospital is far, far, far better than the way it was before. And this work made it in three perspectives. One is that in its look from outside, when you look at it, it has improved drastically and it is making it neat and is looking toward the modern situation. And also when you now look at the internal aspects, when you look at the inside, the patients are far better and then much more happier with the current situation. So it's highly appreciable. And when you look at it and the overall aspect, also in terms of lightning, also outside, you see that due to the uh, solar street light that are on ground, the hospital is very beautiful in the night when you are passing, especially when you are crossing the bridge. When you look at it outside, it looks very nice. 
with the rehabilitation, it has become a common sight for visitors and patients visiting the hospital to notice the complete change in the outlook of the structures in the hospital that are now wearing new paint. The last time we witnessed this renovation from the periphery, I think it's more than 20 years. But now look at it, not only uh, staff in this hospital or medical personnel, even visitors, they have been cherishing this, they have been expressing their gratitude and appreciation to the people who initiated this uh, renovation. What we anticipated is what we expect. And uh, everybody is now comfortable. And uh, what impressed me well is that the renovation goes along with supply of equipment. And the equipment is well up to date. Because this type of bed, you see, and the lighting system, the water system, is well and good, is in conformity with the health standard as of this time. So we are sincerely very, great, very grateful. The infrastructural renewal has also given other sections of the hospital, including the administrative block, medical wards, theater, and conveniences, new looks. Even more exciting was the restoration of regular water supply to hospital with most patients now able to use the conveniences conveniently. The situation is not different at the Yola Specialist Hospital, another prime healthcare facility in the capital of Adamawa State in northeast Nigeria. Despite its centrality to healthcare in the northeast, the hospital had over the years become run down with most of the equipment either non-functional or obsolete. The buildings have become dilapidated and even as basic as it is to good healthcare, patients and visitors to the hospital cannot be guaranteed reliable supply of portable water. Patients and visitors are met with ungainly sites at the theatre rooms, laboratories and the wards, even as the healthcare workers try to do their best for them in the uncomfortable situation. But just like in Kanu, patients and visitors to the Yola Specialist Hospital are now glowing in excitement over the change in the outlook of the hospital. Following the intervention of President Mahmoud Buhari through the office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs, the office took up the comprehensive rehabilitation of the hospital, which covered the wards, surgical rooms, the pediatric surgical, orthopedic wards, the eye clinic, the accident emergency compound office. The scope of work also covered the rehabilitation of the access road, main gates to OPD, ceremonial ground parking area, laboratory to admin block parking area, the intensive care unit, theaters, and the mortuary. The result is that the specialist hospital, established in 1938, has now experienced a complete turnaround, though the rehabilitation work is yet to be completed. As you can see, right from the gate, you can see the overlay asphalt that has been started right from the gate to the admin block up to the parking area. We are the accident and emergency department, comprising of compound office and dispensary units, whereby the work has been completed and has been put in use. As you can see, people have been attended, those that have gone through accident and other emergency cases. The upgrade in the hospital through the intervention of the office of the senior special assistant to the president on SDGs is visible to patients and visitors to the facility right from the entrance with the new rebuilt access road and walkway. Last three years back, this place not, is not like that. Now the place is very nice and, and we appreciate our government. The project is very nice and the hospital is looking nice now, very beautiful. You see our flowers, the zinc, we have, uh, they have already changed it. Inside the hospital, patients are also diligently confronted 
with brand new facilities as the healthcare facility can now boast of the new beddings, laboratories, theater units, pharmacist department and morgue. The rehabilitation which began in 2019 has resulted in the complete remodeling of the administrative block and the access roads now overlaid with asphalt. The accident and emergency department, the male surgical ward and other areas have been completed and the patients were also taking advantage of the new facilities while trolleys can now be taken through the walkways as a result of the rehabilitation. A patient at the orthopedic unit of the hospital, Mohamed Adama, commended the cleanliness of the hospital. We are so much happy about the environment because if you look at the environment, it's hygienic. And look at fans, look at everything. They are taking care of us, even the workers, even the nurses and the doctors. They are, alhamdulillah, there's no problem. We are not facing any challenges or any problem. And we are conversing with them without any problem. So we don't have any complaint or any problem here. We are so much happy and we are we appreciate their efforts. I personally appreciate the SDG effort and I am praying less our country makes some changes like this one. Tushan is very nice and we are feeling comfortable, especially all the accommodation is so right. Um, the toilet especially, toilet and bathroom, everything is normal. There is water provided there, everything. And it's very neat. It's hygienic now. The hostel before you cannot be able to even to enter there. If you want to enter the toilet, some they are going outside and they forget there. Some they are going somewhere because of the place I was being contaminated. There is not is nothing is good there. For the hospital staff patients and visitors, the intervention by the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs is the most comprehensive of such interventions for any healthcare facility in the state. Remember, you can always watch this program and other episodes by subscribing to our YouTube channels on youtube.com forward slash fresh news TV and youtube.com forward slash agenda 2030 TV. You can also watch the program live. Just log on to www.facebook.com forward slash fresh news ng and www.facebook.com forward slash agenda 2030 TV. Follow us on all our social media platforms at agenda 2030 TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember to drop your comments and share with your contacts. Do use the hashtag Agenda2030 and hashtag Agenda2030TV. And that's how much we can take on the program this week. Do keep a date with us next week as we bring you another refreshing episode. I am Toyin Nkamiang John. Thank you for staying with us.